So if you're struggling with NPM installs that are taking absolutely forever for you to complete, well, in this particular video, we will go ahead and see the new awesome package manager. It's not actually new, but it's actually pretty, pretty shiny and it's pretty performance and pretty fast, which is called PMPM. So I'm going to take PMPM and just give it a comparison with NPM versus Yarn to see why you need to switch as soon as possible from NPM or Yarn into using PNPM ASAP. And before jumping into the video, I just want to show you this quick comparison from the Yarn benchmarks of like PNPM and everything. So you got NPM in here, as you see that with the orange, and you got the other one with the yellow in here, like for the PNPM. And as you see, every single time PNPM is a clear winner compared to all of them when it comes to installation time compared to all of those. So we've got this really simple, awesome illustration in here just to give you like a glimpse of what is the difference in folder structure particularly between npm and yarn which uses copy pasting and a lot of like files are copy pasted versus the pnpm which uses sim linking and hard linking and that what actually makes pnpm that fast and very very performant so even though express actually depends on the party parser and it should be like nested inside inside something like node modules npm and yarn doesn't do that it puts them all inside of the same level that way it actually solves a really really critical issue which we like npm version 2 had before and since npm version 3 they all started like using this new way of like flattening and and just putting them all at the same root level in here uh, without like just putting them in a nested directories and it saves a lot of problem but there are some problems in here so it's curious in here and they all copy paste it so every single time it finds a dependency of this it will cut like tries to copy paste and it finds for example react has a body partial dependency so like let's say express and react both depend on the body parser itself but they depend on a different version of the body parser let's say express depends on version one and react version two so they like what npm does it actually copy paste two versions two versions of body parser and it puts them right here and that creates a lot of like nested stuff as well as as we're all familiar with like the npm cache or the yarn cache they work the same way so they copy paste okay so every single time you find something on the cache it tries to copy paste that which can kind of like takes a significant a huge amount of time compared to other stuff okay now when it comes to pmpm it uses a completely different folder structure of the node modules and why it does that it actually does that for a couple of reasons for security concerns to fix some silly bugs and expected bugs that the npm folder structure actually introduces and it does another one which is making it so so performance and that's because the hard linking and the sim linking instead of like the copy pasting Okay, so let's try to go ahead and see, uh, go deeper into this. So for example, you got a node module the same way. Now, PMBM doesn't actually install those on the root level. So you see, we got the root level in here. Now it doesn't do that. What it does, it creates a .pmpm folder just to hide those. And this actually fixed the first problem, which is a security concern and the silly bugs that this one introduces. Okay. Awesome. Now, if we jump to that, so it installs all the dependencies. So we got the project dependencies, Express React TypeScript, the same thing. It puts them down there. So these are the dependencies. Now, let's say Express actually has another kind of like dependency. So it depends on the body parser, right? So it's going to have a node modules normally, and that node module is going to have the body parser. But it's going to put Express as well in there. So if you open up the structure, you're going to find, oh, Express is in there. Why is that? Actually, it does that so it allows the same package to actually import itself. And this fixes a lot of problems as well. So you're going to have this one. Okay, so very simple. And the Express in this particular folder is going to have all the binaries, all the files and everything. But this folder doesn't have anything. It's actually just empty and it has a node modules inside of it. Awesome. Now we got the body parser in here. So the body parser is gonna exist in here, but it's not gonna exist like it's an actual existence of, of the file. It's gonna be sim links rather. Okay. So Express is gonna have the dependencies installed at the same level, which is level one after .pmpm. It's gonna have the dependencies of Express installed there. Then later on, it's gonna be sim linked down in here. Okay. It might feel a little bit weird at first when you look at it, but it's actually pretty, pretty simple and it works really, really flawlessly. And using these sim links in here, and instead of copy pasting and just having this particular structure, it actually offers a lot of security and it offers so, so much performance, like up to 3x or 4x performance boost compared to NPM or Yarn. That's, that's absolutely crazy. So first things first, to install PMPM, it's actually pretty, pretty straightforward. It's actually 
you know, less less com kind of complicated to install npm on Yarn. You just copy a particular script. So if you head over to npm.io for slash installation, you're going to find all the documentation, everything you need, and you're going to find this one. So for currently, it's actually version 7.x, which is the latest version. So you just copy this one, you click on this, you're going to copy it, and you're going to have it. So I'm going to use the simplest way. I'm going to copy the script, I'm going to go ahead and paste the script, click enter, and this just go ahead, like download the binaries and, and real quickly, and it's going to install pmpm version 77 for the latest one. Now, if you jump to the practical side in here, I got two projects, I got an npm project, and I got a pmpm project, they are just bare minimum project, they have nothing, no code, nothing. So I want to see the folder structure in action. So let's first go ahead and try to do npm install, and I'm going to install express in this. So I'm going to do install express, I'm going to click enter, but before doing any of that, I'm going to add the time command. And this will allow us to see how long this installation of a single dependency is going to take, because this is an empty project, and it's just a single dependency. So as soon as I click in this, I'm just going to wait a couple of seconds, probably not going to take long because it's single dependency. And there you go. So it took around three th seconds, okay, I'm going to say three seconds in this. And he added like 50 packages because of the dependencies and everything. Now if we head over to the node modules, hallelujah, I just added express, but all of these dependencies are added alongside express because it depends on it. And they are all added to the root level inside of the node modules. Wow, pretty horrible like that. Okay, let me just jump back into the pmpm. Now let's try pmpm. So I'm going to do pmpm install, I'm going to use add because it doesn't have install, and I'm going to add the time command, I'm going to do add express. Okay, click enter. And let's see how long this could take. It took one second, like, like figuratively, it's one second, it added 50 packages, the same number of packages they added on npm, it added express latest version and everything It gives you some meta info, you don't care about that. Let's go to the node modules. Wow, that's pretty structured and pretty easy. Scurisy express is put right here, but it's actually the same length from inside the dot pmpm. It's curious if you take a look on the path, it's actually inside the dot pmpm. And, and if you go all that, if it goes inside of the pmpm, you're gonna find all the dependencies of express are put in there. And if I go for example, inside, so node modules, and you're gonna find the actual dependencies of all of those. And of course, if you want to like look for express, you can easily go ahead and search for it. There you go. That's express It has all the data of it, the index file, the lib files, back.json, and so on and so forth. And of course, it's sim links again. So it uses a lot of sim links, a lot of hand links, and just to save you tons and tons of like disk space on all of that, but it puts all of those in a pretty, pretty neat and simple way. And that's going to save you a lot of performance. So for example, in here for this particular project, this is something that uses npm, and it has a package dash log dot JSON. That means this is using npm and everything. Now, let's say I want to actually move from npm to migrate to a pmpm. How can I do that? It's pretty simple. So just go in and delete the node modules and make sure just to keep the, the package.log.json just for a quick second. And now you need to run the pmpm import command in order to import or convert the package.log.json to pmpm log.yaml. So to do that, just pmpm and you just do import. That's it, click enter, and this should do the import for you. And it's going to give you how many times it used dependencies, how many times it downloaded new dependencies or added new dependencies. And it's actually pretty performance when it comes to that particular one. So it's going to do all the kind of conversion, all the migration just super quickly and it's great the new YAML file the for pmpm uh, just ready for you. And after you finish, it might give you this particular error that oh, it has missing peer dependencies. It's pretty simple, actually, all you need to do is just go and install those peer dependencies and you're good to go. And now when it comes to bunch marking both, you know, three package managers, npm versus yarn and versus pmpm, or more particularly npm and yarn versus pmpm. So if you want to see that in action, it already has some benchmark section inside of the pmpm io forward slash benchmarks, you're going to find a different criteria and different, you know, ways of benchmarking that particularly. Okay, so we've got in here, for example, uh, you know, clean install, maybe a C install with lock file, uh, with the without node modules and so so much far and, and everything else. So as you in here, we got like some comparison, for example, uh, with a cache with lock file node modules in here, and it's going to give you some comparisons in time, depending when running this particular install. So there is an install and there is an update in here for the first one, the everyone or 
most of the time pmpm is actually beating this and if you want to see benchmarks in action with a continuously running server it's actually coming up from yarn in here and it give you really awesome benchmarks with this really awesome charts and everything so for example there is a full code so typically that's a ci and to give you different kind of explanations so for example you can see in here npm is most of the times like taking very, very long. So PMPM in the orange in here is always, always a clear winner uh, with Yarn and Yarn Classic. They are, you know, just like the adequate. So that's why you find a lot of people or most of developers who uses Yarn, but they're not familiar with PMPM and they have this experience with PMPM. It's, it's absolutely crazy and absolutely fast. I was just struggling with NPM installs and I figured out like there's a PMPM thing and it's tried it and it my mind was blown away. All right, so now we wanna run our own benchmark for different package managers, NPM, Yarn, and see it compared to PMPM. PM. Okay, so we got this particular a website in here, which is just a shop, a quick shop. I cloned it from GitHub. It's a really awesome website. It's created using, you know, um, React, and it has a pl plethora of dependencies, a lot of stuff. So it's quite complicated, and it has a lot of stuff going on with the cards. You can add, you can buy, you can go to checkouts, filters, and much, much more. Okay, that's pretty awesome. That's pretty neat as well. So let's go ahead and try. We got this same application cloned three times so we can test it for every single package manager. So if I jump to VS Code in here, I got the first one, which is the PMPM. The second one, we got the package.log.json, which is NPM. And last but not least, we got yarn.log. So if I need to find yarn, uh, there you go. So yarn.lock in here. So this one is going to run yarn. So if you notice in here, I already cleared the cache. So this is going to start without a cache. No package manager has a cache whatsoever. I cleaned and it cleared every single car cache and it forced it. So just no package manager has a cache. Even I like deleted the PMPM store as well. So I'm going to use time. I'm going to just use the time command or Linux command in here to benchmark. And this is going to give us, you know, how long the script took to execute from start to finish. Okay, so I'm going to do npm time i'm going to do npm install as you see i'm going to also delete the node modules that npm has as well so i'm going to start npm in here i'm going to take it you know i'm going to leave it run and see how it goes so all the commands all the installations are done and i'm going to start with the npm install in here so npm is done and it's done after three minutes 41 seconds in in real time this is actually the time it took from the start of the script into the installation is done of the node modules yes we've got the node more use we got everything and it's just crazy how long that took to be honest just to install those just three minutes 41 seconds and even though that's we don't have that much of dependencies on package.json in here compared to you know a bigger more sophisticated projects so this is what it takes for a medium-sized project okay now if i jump to the other side of yarn we got the yarn install in here and yarn is pretty decent yarn is pretty good that's why developers love it it takes around one minute 18 seconds for the installation to be done and of course this was a cold start no cache nothing and that's what it took so that's kind of adequate and pretty good as well now if we jump to our beloved pmpm which we didn't know that existed before so pmpm install i mean the time in here that's how long it took it took 10 seconds around 11 seconds for the installation to complete and yes if you're going to just go ahead and do pmpm start right here it's going to start the script for you it's going to start the server it's going to start this like the react development server for you and it's absolutely crazy how fast and performing that is. So I really advise you to give PMPM a shot, even though I'm just, I started working with it like a couple of weeks ago. I wish I knew this like, you know, before that. But anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed and catch you hopefully in the next ones.